Hi, I'm Elsie Gabriel, UNESCO Green Citizen and the founder of Young Environmentalist Program Trust. I'm the National Coordinator for Oceans for Climate Reality Project India and also the founder of Ocean School India. We are trying to introduce ocean literacy into the school curriculums here in the urban, rural, coastal and citizen scientists in our communities as well. The challenges are great because in the developing and developed countries um, it is not always the case that you can add extra subjects which do not fetch students grades and therefore create a burden for our teachers and the entire curriculum system. Therefore we had to research and sit with the teachers and principals and students and try and choke out where we could fit these ocean literacy classes into the community projects, into field research projects and try and connect each and every subject under the school curriculum so that time would not be taken away from the teachers or from the school hours. For example, if you had an English class, we would teach them about ocean literacy, ocean pollution, ocean conservation, and how you could write a simple essay or a newspaper report on ocean literacy. We would elaborate on the various subjects and the modules as well as topics and they would use the English language period to cover the ocean literacy modules of report writing or article writing. Similarly, we would use geography and the chapters on oceans and the continents and infuse ocean literacy into those very subjects. Of course, the science subjects of biology, physics and chemistry can absorb ocean literacy topics very, very well. So it is important to see what the various schooling systems here, especially in India, and in Mumbai, how much time can they offer us and how worthy do they find it? Although they do not get grades for it or need it for their board examinations, we ensure to connect the various subjects to their field projects which are necessary for grading and we also use ocean literacy topics for personality development, civic sense cultivation and a need to develop careers in the SDG goals arenas. After coming out with us to these ocean literacy classes, many of the students have decided to become marine biologists, oceanographists, environmentalists, as well as journalists and it is not surprising that the students also find these ocean literacy outdoor research trips to be digital detox for them. Some are quite actually happy to know that they can use this time out to really learn more about the entire marine ecosystem and just not the beach cleaning on available dates. So therefore they study right the stormwater drains and the sewage system, the pollution inlets into these lakes, rivers and rivulets. So therefore we incorporate the wetlands, mangroves, limnology classes as well as indoor classes to educate the students. We include junior levels with quizzes on ocean literacy which makes it very exciting and reward them with t-shirts and certificates. We also collaborate with universities 
to study the pollution in lakes and when the students show enthusiasm during their field trips we also ask them to be our youth ambassadors and to try and get more students in their own schools involved in participating and joining the ocean literacy classes we also work with the islands in india which are very remote and isolated and face the same disasters as the sids so these islands in india may not belong to the small island nations association but face the same disaster same challenges and are not ready to face any such ocean crisis they also have a lot of pollution on their islands which has no way of being collected and sent to mainlands therefore recycling these plastics and reusing them to build eco walls eco bricks and sustainable items are the only way out for the students to incorporate and reuse these plastics here we're teaching the students of the travel and tourism sector so therefore they learn more about sustainable tourism and ocean tourism and it gets them quite excited to know that they can learn so much and incorporate the same into their answers and their project reports some do not find the ocean literacy classes outdoors very attractive obviously we do not take them just to recreational sandy beaches and recreational holiday beach parks but we do introduce them to the actual colors sights sounds of wetlands and many of them really really feel obliged and they feel moved to see the plight of the ocean pollution this trip we took to the flamingos on wetlands day and they were so excited to know that these flamingos travel thousands of miles maybe from the middle east and the other nations and other states in our own country and they surround the wetlands and that's how exciting it can be for the young minds so we involve a lot of biodiversity marine life team building spirit self growth classes and a little bit of quizzing and excitement to really ignite them and help them absorb our ocean literacy classes we are writing a book on an introduction of ocean literacy for the students and we are also planning to distribute them free to the underprivileged schools we are also planning on doing an ocean literacy conclave so that we can get teachers trained and we can have mentors as well as veterans speak about the different aspects of the entire marine ecosystem so that it is just not academic but involves different stakeholders in the city citizen scientists and communities and many other organizations already working in the fields of ocean conservation so therefore we believe that collaboration and association will help us to march forward and focus on these young minds and build a strong next generation which is ocean literate the importance of ocean literacy cannot be preached or made compulsory because students are still struggling with the three Rs and passing the exams and completing their projects and homeworks therefore the only way ocean literacy can be enforced 
is by taking them outdoors and infusing their field research work into the entire lesson plans. We hope that you will join the Young Environmentalist Program Trust and our outdoor ocean literacy classes, which connects the students to the ecology and helps them to get closer associated with the natural biodiversity of both land and ocean. We are proud to be recognized by UNESCO Green Citizen and this program trust also conducts diving training for specialization in handling disabled women and children during climatic ocean tsunamis and disasters where divers can use their expertise in assisting local governments and societies to help save them from the disasters. It is more of preparedness that we are ensuring that the divers learn and just not wait for a disaster to happen. So preparedness is a very key factor that we focus on so that they do not take global warming, climate disasters, oceanic disasters for granted. We are grateful to the Governor of Mumbai for supporting our work.